So now I'm going to show you about the intervalometer. So if we go back through into our hack menu, we've got something called scripting parameters. Now when we go into this, usually your scripting parameter will be something like the default. So if I just go back, if I tried to take a picture and I haven't come out of my alt menu, I press it and it will do something like this, started and finished. Basically when you've got this something like this coming up when a script starts, but no pictures being taken. It's because you've you've tried to press the shutter button while you're in the alternative menu. Usually, you just press the shutter again and press the alt button. And then the next time you tried to take a picture without the alt at the bottom of the screen, you'd have been able to take your picture normally. But we do actually want a script to run. So what we're going to do in the scripting parameters, we're going to go to load script from file. And down in here, we've got the interval script. So you just select that, and at the bottom now, here, you'll see that it's set for the intervalometer and the interval in seconds, and you can change the amount of seconds that it goes for. Now, whatever picture you take, it takes roughly the same amount of time to process the picture as it does to take it. If I'm taking a 15 second shot, it's going to take another 15 seconds to process it. So um, it's going to take a maximum of 30 seconds for a shot to happen. What the interval thing will do, will, once one picture has been taken, it will count down from the end of that picture being taken. So in this case, it will count down for 15 seconds and then take another picture. Now, my 15 second shot is going to take 15 seconds to process which means as soon as that stops processing the camera's going to take another picture because it's using that 15 second gap to count down So to show you how it works, I've selected that and I've selected my 15 seconds. We're now seeing the intervalometer option down here. What I will do is show you how the intervalometer works. So if I just start this picture, you'll see the script says started. And now it's taking a picture. Now remember I'm on a 15 second shutter speed, which means it's going to take 15 seconds to take this picture. So if we just give it some time. At the bottom here, I don't know how well you can see it, it's saying that it's busy. So now it's taking those 15 seconds that I was talking about to process the picture. This camera is really grainy. Now you see that picture's processed. I haven't touched anything. That camera has now started to take this next picture along. And until you stop it, it will just keep on taking pictures or until your battery runs out. Now the other day I left my camera in the garden taking pictures for over three hours and the battery still hadn't run out. So as you can imagine you can get some pretty big collections of photos. Uh, one thing I'd like to try and do is leave the intervalometer running in front of a flower that's about to open so that you get that sort of thing in nature where you see the stages of the flower opening up and um, leaning towards sunlight. Now, just so you know, I haven't actually touched this camera since I started the intervalometer. This is doing it all by itself. So then I, I'm going to put some bits on the end of this video to show you the sort of results you can get from an intervalometer.
I'm really sorry that the quality of this video isn't perfect. I've actually got, I borrowed a different camera because I had to take the other one back to work. And uh, this one's not as good at picking up detail and, and actually what is going on on the screen but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about.